Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the first ever version of macOS released. So we're going to drag it in. I'm emulating a Macintosh 128K. So we're going to chuck in the floppy right now. Welcome to Macintosh. So as you can see, we have the system disk, which is supposed to replicate a 400 kilobyte floppy disk. So if we go into about the finder, we have the Macintosh Finder version 1.1G and an image in black and white. Now, one thing I'm going to mention with the desktop, it is very similar, if not the same, to today's current Mac OS desktops in Catalina, which is the latest version of Mac OS. We have the trash over here. So if we wanted to drag in a folder that we don't need, we can just, we can just, you know, drag it into the trash. But first I think we have to close the trash. And then now it's in the trash, you can just empty it. Gone. So over here, all these applications are known as DA tools or DA applications, which are built in like, if we go into the system folder, it would be part of the system file, I believe. So if we close these, we'll look at the scrapbook. Just gives us some basic black and white images. Nothing too special with that. We have an alarm clock, which just puts in the time. At the time this was released, there wasn't really a sidebar on the right. So you had to have the time somewhere. So we can just leave this here for now. We have a notepad and we can type in whatever we want in the keyboard. And then we got the calculator. Now, one thing I'm going to mention is with applications, you can only run one application at a time. In, uh, in later builds of the Mac OS, you would have MultiFinder, which would eventually allow you to run multiple apps at a single time. But that also, you could not do that on a floppy disk. You would need a hard disk for this. So we've got the keycaps application. So we can type or click on whatever we want. We've got the control panel, which is very basic, but it what you can control over here is the volume. You can control like the desktop pattern. So if we want an all black or all white desktop, we can just color in all the pixels. And there you have it. Simple, isn't it? Or we can just change it. I'll just make it all black for now. Then you, I think over here, you can change the mouse intensity. And we got the date over here, we got the time. And we can also modify like how many flashes would it do. So if we just click close, there's only one flash. So but we'll change it back to like two. So that was the control panel. And then we just have a small puzzle, which is like 2048 style or something like that. Now, if we go into the system disk, we barely have any applications on the main drive. We will have an application called sys version, which just mentioned the system version is 1.1 from 1984. And if we click on that, it closes the application. Then we also have disk copy, so we can open that. And it basically allows you to copy an entire disk from one disk to another, where it's a hard drive or a floppy, I think. Then we have an application for fonts. So we basically have a small amount of fonts, I think one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven fonts in the system file. And then we have more fonts on, which are named after cities in the States and Canada and Egypt. Then the last thing I'm going to go through is an application known as MacPaint, which was more of like similar to like what Microsoft Paint would be, but it's black and white as you can see. And we can just draw the basic hello. I do a bad job at it, but you know. We can also add some scribbles to it here. Smudge, not necessarily smudge. And you can also take it and delete. Or you can have a rectangle or other effects. I think I just drew a Pac-Man of some sort. Yeah, I think that's it. And we can also add in text. So, and we can also change the text. So we will make this size 36. Yeah. Not too bad. We're not going to save the changes. And if you want to actually shut down the computer, it doesn't give you the opportunity to. What you do is you would eject the disk. And now the disk is, is out, you can turn it off. So that was the first ever Mac OS. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.